Uh, I have to get back to the office. I haven't been there all day, so. Well, I can I uh, yeah, help you no. get your bags? No, thank you. I have it. Uh, what about uh, dinner? I mean, you got to eat, right? We could hop on a plane to Paris, stop at a nice, nice bistro along the Champs Elysees. Now you're offering to take me to Paris. Well, if you, if you don't want French food, we could always uh, go to Barcelona instead. I think paella is pretty good. Wow, you. You're crazy. It'd be crazy to give up on you. Let me take this. We don't need to take so, what are, your, uh, what are your brothers doing tonight? Why? Well, I was thinking we'd go to Jake's, grab a drink, watch them kick the crap out so of me I again. I feel sorry for you. Well, it worked the first time. Well, a lot has changed since then. Well, why don't you take a swing at me? It'll make you feel better. I don't want to. I don't want to hit you. How about a swift kick to the groin? I'll be talking funny for a week. It'll make you feel a hell of a lot better. A second thought, you know those pretty serious boots. You could probably do some damage with those, and we wouldn't be able to have those eight kids we were talking about having. Should probably go with Lucky and Ethan kicking the crap out of me. Actually, they are on your side, and they think that I should give you another chance. Really? What are you waiting for? People thought it was a good idea. I mean, I'm, you breaking up with me, I'm guessing Maxie, she's not my biggest fan. Actually, Maxie thinks that it's all Brenda's fault for sucking you in like she did with Spinelli. So if even Maxie thinks that we belong together, don't you think it should be considered a possibility? You know what, Maxie didn't, she didn't wake up one day and realize that her relationship was a lie. I never lied about loving No, you just forgot to mention that you were also in love with Brenda. I told you it was a crush years ago. It's fine for you to have feelings for other people. I'm just not going to compete. Hey, we have a major problem. Uh, well, you know, I got problems of my own. Siobhan is a traitor. She's what? She's working for the Balkan, but Lucky's too infatuated to see it. Okay, so we know the Balkan's gonna make a move at the wedding. Do we have any reason to think that Siobhan knows where that's taking place? Well, you know, I wasn't gonna say anything about it being the Archer Pavilion until I'd secured it in place, but Lucky came by and made it a point to ask Spinelli the location. So Spinelli tells Lucky because he knows he's doing security. Yeah, but if it was about security, why wouldn't he just, just talk to me? What are you saying, that Lucky's giving information to Siobhan, who's then passing it on to the Balkan? I think Lucky has his suspicions, but he's making excuses for Siobhan. Well, then Lucky's not paying attention because Brenda's going to be vulnerable now, and all the Balkan needs is an opening, and with Siobhan, he's got it. What are you doing? I'm calling Lucky. Uh, Lucky's investing in Siobhan. You think he wants to hear that she's a traitor? I don't, I don't, we can't just wait around until Brenda gets killed. Uh, then we gotta prove that she's working Lucky. We can't wait for more proof. That just gives Siobhan more time to do more damage. Like, I know it's gonna hurt Lucky to hear this, but Brenda's life is at stake. <laughs>